faster. I can use my own tools. No, no, we'll this table. Oh, yeah. Okay. It is. Okay, can we get everybody to uh, round up here? <laughs> and next up on base from Victoria. <laughs> you got to see. Oh, I just noticed. Your initials are DC. It's true. You're the perfect person. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For doing DC method. Yeah. DC. And Mr. DC. Seems fate. <laughs> oh, not watching the DC. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just no, legitimately too tall to stand. Yeah, I'm going to sit. Yeah. Everybody able to get the dot bin file from Max? Dot bin file, Max dot bin file. We have one that is GTI uh, WS 10 meter. GTI WS 10 meter dot bin. So this is the GTI survey. GTI WS is Wenner Schlumberger, and it is a 10 meter electro spacing. So everyone has this file. I find she done, right? Okay, this is good. So uh, I am told we are going to go through the the process. Um, Please wait. Sure. this file we can start process to and we can load this dot bin file. And I will choose not to install a new version right now. Fine, open. So I guess we'll just need to pass it around. Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So is there anyone that doesn't have it loaded yet? No, Tim Maloa did it, Lucila, did the final. So everyone has the data files. The university, the university group. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so Kevin's on it. Kevin, uh, uh, yeah. not in Alimba, Kevin, take it. Should do first. So the find out when I be when I was a bar is on lower my little tingle. They will find the field ring first. Okay. But so that that is usually a good first step. But I always like to actually look at the data before I do anything. So how am I looking? What data are you like to see now? So we have a couple of. Uh, things we could do, we could click this button and see all of the raw data in the pseudo section. Pseudo section and let's see the raw data. What do you notice about? So these are the apparent resistivities. My apparent resistivities here. What do you notice about the range of values? The value here, a quarter below you see that's about three times. Are they all reasonable? So what what would be something that is not possible or not reasonable? Some of them are negative. So a negative decision. We have negative resistivity values that are quite large. Negative. Zero yet. Divide out. So negative zero. So that is. Graph is graph with three. That might be something we want to think about. That little rotation on the chill up. What is another way that we can look at the data? That's what data two. Then after the near part. Not the near side. Then let's see. We are to do session. Let's see. We are. Not the near. Let's see. We are. We're looking at it. Exterminate bad data. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we can see there are some bad data points here. There are some data points out here that are not part of the normal range. 
So these are some things we can do to try to understand before we try to make changes. So yeah, the, the autocorrect is is a very good first step. So I think we can do this now. Auto filtering out the gala on that sent the kuba and that would look to me. Go. So the number down in the bottom corner here says I have 1,463. I'm hoping everyone has the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So that's how many data are selected. And so we could go and look and see what the what the data look like now. So most of the data are around a hundred oh meters. We can see that there's high resistivity at the surface. Uh, so one thing I'll ask uh, is, what if you saw a data point here? How would you remove that data point? Like you would, you could click and then you could click the data points that you don't like and then okay yes. so that's good so this data set seems to be pretty good uh, are you happy with it are there there any other things that you would want to do data points would see like bad or did not be like there's no right or wrong answer, just Okay. So this is the, the simplest way to do the processing, but we could do some other fancy tools. Process look at the data. Process look at me. Then, if I come at the temple, go on it. Go Korea. Those are she, she, or she, but the other one. What if we knew that maybe we don't want to use any of the apparent resistivity values that are above 2000 ohm meters? So, in the town, so all me that she did apparent resistivity, she did the points of the bones and boost it. You don't follow me. Is there a way that we can unselect that data? So I was going to go through filtering value. Filtering value. So deviation is So number is So Oh, there, there's actually one thing I forgot to say. We did a processing step. What, what should we do? Huh? So we, we did a processing step, and we need to save it. I forgot to. Sorry. Once we have done that, we can go back to the uh, the processing value. This page, I can wait.
we want to, we can uh, decide to only select data that has a standard deviation between 0 and 15. So, so, you know what they say, like, deviation, standard deviation, cheated, they dive you basically. So if the, sta if the standard deviation is big, there is a lot of error on that measurement. Standard deviation, like, meaning it is, and error, meaning it is. Like, go back to the other table, like, go back to meaning it is. Or we could choose to set some limit. Any male, no male, or limit the table, yeah, right? I only want to use the apparent resistivities between this number and this number. So you can do this and select OK. And this is a processing step, so we need to save again. Processing step will save the app. Are there any other tools or things that you have seen in this program that you wanted to see again? We could, we could talk about topography or shifting electrode positions. Electrode position you straight at the topography yeah. the Right now, we are just playing with the data and learning. So, is there anything you wanted to see again? That seems to be pretty good. Okay. Um, then the next thing is if we want to export the data. How do we export the data? Export load. I heard at least one word that makes me happy. So we can export and save. UBC. And so this will export only the data that are selected. Yes, and it keeps all of the data points. So if you do not like the data set, maybe you come back and click other ones at them. So we now have two, two files that are in UBC format. One is the data file and one is the topography, which is flat. So I mean, it's kind of where we ended up finishing. I could show more stuff, I could do whatever. Uh, We could always get people to add it to their case history if they want to use this particular set of processing steps. I'm too efficient. I'm curious what this thing says. Fancy. Yeah, well, let's just show. 
I mean, we can at least just look at the data, even. Yeah. Or I yeah. could throw it up there. Yeah, I, I, that's a good idea. So import the data, talk the way through about how you maybe set this up, more details coming later, and then show the results from it. Well, at least at my binder, we could go. We could go to my binder, and we could yeah. import Max's answer. <coughs>
entire case history, we could go through it for you, you could, because there's still a few things there that could get cleaned up, but we do have them resolved. This seems to be very close to finishing on the high binder, so we could show the data before going for lunch and go over to your lunch. And then we could do the Indian version stuff in the afternoon. Yeah, it's just like this. We could just pick something. It's weird. Because we were going to get that to case history, and now we want to talk about a different case history. It's the same as well. Let's bring in these things. Yeah, it's the great thing. It's like a... Because it sounded like we were going to go through all the steps of doing this case with them. Yeah, right. yeah. We just need one. We just need one. And they change like it's kind of like that. Yeah. So you could do one, try and do one with under 10,000 cells, and I think my binders will be able to run. Yeah. 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 What's wrong with tequila? Uh, uh, I'm kind of lying here. Why do you say so you just worry about lying? I'm tequila, he said. No, not for tequila. So, is that... That's what? It's smelling. Yeah. Devin, was, were those data uploaded onto... Oh, I see. Yeah, so the first... The fr no. Well, you would need to do a poll if you're running locally. Oh, yeah. so Any time you make a change to the repo, yeah. then you have to rerun the setup because changes were made. So that's yeah. that's what mine's doing, but they won't have to do it. Yeah, but I'll, I'll rerun a poll. It's a lot of images. Everybody just uh, loading my binders and just waiting patiently for it to, to start up. My binder point will not sound like that. Okay. Thank you.
呼吸流嘞。Started yet? Okay. So the data set is the. This is the the data that Max processed. Uh, so so Max used process two, made the UBC data, and I put this on the internet. So that Max process the data. What process two will help me do? And it is GTI Wenner Schlumberger. GTI Wenner Schlumberger. It'll have the same name. Yeah, it'll always be the same name and then Tokro. So this would be the data that I, I get. To do this, you will need to download and set up Anaconda on your computer. Anaconda will download the time of And we have a video for this. And our video she got it, no If it is on your computer, I think you will be able to solve bigger problems, bigger meshes. So for And when you have the UBC data. You will put the UBC data in the correct folder. And if you do this and you start the notebooks on your computer, it will show up in the list. And when I make a video, I will show how to do this. Um, but yeah, you you have to have it on your computer. There's no there's no way. Well, yeah, but they three months down the road. <laughs> Actually, yeah. So you could do it. Yeah. Uh, I guess one thing I thought would be fun to show. Uh, Let's look at this exterminate bad data points. Where did you go? Almost got it. Okay. I'll try processing this. to show this beside the pseudo section that we had. Yeah. 
Because we can see what the data are doing here. So this is this is a plot showing all of the apparent resistivities we have. There are apparent resistivities in the other levels, so we have had it. And it shows us for each line in our pseudo section. That pseudo section map diameter to a line, the line two just to buy. So near the surface, we have high resistivities. And I'm in the bottom, the young will resist the near the high boundary. And then below the surface, we have lower resistivities. So surface go out, send on there, so resist the near the near the near the. If we look at our pseudo section, pseudo section, you know, TT like this one, we see the same thing. So, to be what the W is, jump yadi, the pseudo section male. We see the top, to yare, bottom ma. The top layer has high, high apparent resistivities. Apparent resistivity ni ne yare to yare. And the rest of it was in a similar range and less resistive. So, resistive ne, resistivity ne, you know, so to yare. I just thought that was cool. So, I mean, we could try to start going through some kind of inversion if you wanted to, Doug. Yeah, why don't you do it? I would just watch mine and go on iteration one. It's okay. So, fail. Is it fail? Is there is there internet okay? Internet yeah, internet she. They have internet. Interesting. Maybe if they go back, to, maybe if they try from the beginning to launch my binders again. My binders are being pulled up, being stuck, pulled up, being stuck, and being blocked. So is everybody at the point now where they want to make a mesh, or is it still taking time to load the binder? Yeah, they finished binder. Okay. So let's make a mesh. Mesh load jam. Our spacing is our electrode spacing is ten meters. Ten meter aquacare or spacing up. So we would like to have three to four cells per electrode. So. One electrode, the electrode is going to be jammed as well. Cells, they will be able to charge it. But just to practice and to make the problem small, maybe we'll use a five meter cell size. One meter cell size to be able to charge it. And we'll make the core length 100. Core length, the core region, yeah, do you have to go? 100, look me. And the padding, the number of padding will be 15 cells. Padding will charge it. Padding jar at four, be be four. How many? How much? Uh, fifteen. One five. Sanya. And so, if we run this cell, the mesh has six thousand two hundred and thirty cells. Chop chop job, no? The cells chop chop will shoot me. And hopefully, this is a problem that will be fast to solve. So now, do you know? Because we we are not using any of the other things. Can you show that to them again? Yeah. Parameter. Parameter. Yeah. 
So right now we have two cells for each electrode spacing. Electrode spacing to Kuma cells in a cubed lotari. Mama, those with a legal lotama. They got on a cubed lotari. So when we have completed that, we will <coughs> set the uncertainties. That's the uncertainty rule, set the low main. Um, something fine, no? Yeah. Does, does anyone have a suggestion for the uncertainties? Uncertainty number two, let's take the gum less right, and then we will use a shila, then you shila. What wrong, huh? Five percent of the tech, percent of the tech. Yeah, we could start with five. Now, let's start with me. We can always check the curve afterwards, and I, I sometimes add a very small floor value. Something much, much smaller than the, the, the smallest um, resistivity. And now we can set the parameters for the inversion. Inversion to parameter set the only amen. Okay, so I'm gonna do this too. So the the background or the back, uh, sorry, the, the starting resistivity and reference resistivity was a, that it gave us was about 100 ohm meters. 100 ohm meters. Yeah. Does that seem pretty reasonable? They are ohm meters, so we don't know amount So we have a reference, we have Is that a good value? Is that a sort of a good value for the general resistivity of the earth? Yeah, of course. So if we, if we thought it was not, we could choose to change this, but having 95 as your starting guess and uh, it is a good starting guess. <coughs> Um, we could choose to uh, make things more smooth or try to be closer to the reference model. Reference model, and this is smooth to smooth to the Haruma chain we are apparently at first, right? It's yeah. If I wanted to make my answer more smooth, what would I do to these alphas? Hey, alphas you to blow on there. Yeah, so you could lower alpha s. Alpha s will show smooth for Or you could increase alpha x and alpha y. Alpha x and alpha y go two lines. So one you, you make alpha s smaller, or one you make the other alphas bigger. S go, I'm show like we show alpha y is that good, you like that. And so I, I think you all understand that alphas, if I want to make it smooth in this way, I make it alpha x bigger. So alpha x s go, g a lot like this, no? I like that. Probably smooth to me, probably me, me. I don't like it, me. So alpha number that are not me, 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 no? So I'm I'm going to lower the chi factor a little bit. Chi factor, good one, and show me. Can anyone explain to me 
why I might lower the chi factor. I thought the chi factor number go to show the chi factor number. I will, I will give you a hint. If my estimate of uncertainties is perfect, then the best solution will be when I have chi factor equal to one. That is when the inversion should stop. The chi factor got one and you know, and I and I below ten minutes or generally the data will counsel command to draw the to the uncertainty for uncertainty will counsel command and that chain in the time you must know chi factor the equal to one to one. So if my curve does this <coughs> and this is where chi factor equals one it isn't getting flat until I am below. What does that tell me about my choice for the uncertainties? So uncertainty got below chain two grip below Did I choose uncertainties that were too big or too small? So the uh, uncertainty number go, percentage go, you either mea do the lot, ne do the lot. I'm a uh, command to go estimate go to a. Mea do the chain, I did the pose at Like bigger. Yeah, I chose ones that were too big. So G the number go, you either handle it. So just in case I chose uncertainties that were too big, if I lower the chi factor, I can see what the curve is doing, and I can answer that question. It's basically saying, just in case I picked uncertainties that were too big, I can see some more of the curve and no more. So we've set this maximum iter to 10, which means I'm only going to find a solution for 10 points on this curve. So there's another iteration general ID. Come from I mean we were mine. The same point. Yang Luyang looked at the ball. Iteration 10 look at is it iteration number? Uh, so I set I set it to ten. This just means that uh, I won't make the computer program continue forever. And if we click the run button, hopefully binders will be able to run. So we will see. And if this takes a long time, we can go for lunch or something. And then it's not too late. Run, look, run, look, lunch. And then it's time. So how many? Yeah. Okay. Uh, in like what? Ten minutes? Fifteen minutes? What was your cell size? Or your no, ten and five. Uh, 4,000 cells. Anything about that will see if it's a crash. Okay. So, maybe mine will crash. Maybe everyone's will crash. What are your computers about? How many cells do you have? 6,000. Uh, about 6,000. But I can do this because I'm uh, fancy. See if it runs faster on my computer. It is the race, the great race between the notebooks, the binder, and my computer. Okay. <coughs> so I guess we just get to.
let that go for a while. Yeah, so why don't we break for a slightly early lunch? And then, so let me start like me. Yeah, I love that. And then, yeah, I'm also going to be internet at Lawara. Then I'm going to start shooting that. But in the meantime, program is running. Yeah. And if it fails, I'm running it locally, and so we can look at stuff. And just got another update of the full poll for the Saudi. So he, he actually put in the remote electrode in the inversion. And it was hard to change. So 700 meters is fine for thinking it was basically a full poll. Okay. Yeah, I saw him updating those notebooks in the Dropbox, but he hasn't added them to the repo. Um, 